This is Trust the Prophets 10 Minute Rundown. Here's your hosts, El Ombre and the Formula. Hello, welcome to the Trust the Prophets 10 Minute Rundown. We are recounting week 26 of our premium package where we go through December 17th to December 19th, all of the different slates that we have uh, handicapped for you all. So we're going to start with Thursday, uh, the 17th of December, 2020 at the New Orleans Fairgrounds. We had ourselves a pretty good day there. We had an awesome start. I don't mean to uh, spoil anything there for you, El Ombre, but we had a hell of a start. Three of our uh, nine races, we hit the exact on, including a major one. You want to tell us about it? Sure, sure. Uh, so I'm going to outline the the top moment of the day. It clearly was the race number one right off the bat. First, first of the premium weekend, 26. Bada boom, bada bing. Here we go. Uh, the first race coming out, triple digit exact to pay off one hundred and two dollars and thirty cents on a on a one dollar exact. Ridiculous. Uh, with the multiplier, we had a two a two times multiplier. It was considered a risky um, confidence level. Yeah. So we were not super confident going in. So we we laid out a, a bet to put down anyway, and and it was ridiculous how it paid off. Uh, high risk, high reward. That was it, baby. So so. On a twelve dollar bet, you're going to return about two hundred four sixty on that thing. So that was that was obviously the the highlight of the day to get the, yeah. to get the game started. And that was our top two horses on that too. So even if you just paired up and did a, an exact a box as opposed to throwing in the third one, you would have hit this one as well. If you put in the third one, you also got the trifecta. By the way, you didn't say that. Yeah, yeah, hundred ninety dollar trifecta. Not bad on a fifty cent piece. So yes. Piece. So overall, overall on the the fairgrounds um i think it's been pretty good to us overall yes um, we hit obviously the exacta boxes were on point that day uh huge success but we also had a pick four early that early pick four paid 205 on like a i want to say a 48 dollar ticket something like that yeah and we also hit a mid card uh pick four for 179 bucks so great day overall New yeah. orleans at uh fairgrounds I mean, got a typical a typical card yeah typical fairgrounds has been good to us as, as we said uh especially when there's name a, a name program going on there where it's not you know 12 dollar trader horses going on right right tip of the hat as well to lion's hot mess i mean that was that was a name of a horse that both you and i looked at and thought that speaks to our heart here being some detroit fans yeah um, that's right that's go deep into that because detroit fan is a messy subject to get into but well it's kind of like uh you know just being a mass murder rape victim as as a as a fan of the lions just yeah i mean 30 years of abuse 40 years if you're old like me i mean what are you gonna do detroit lions i don't even claim them anymore you guys can do what you want with that uh my michigan state hat i'll tell you that we've suffered in college football as well as of late but uh look that's why i'm doing horses i, I, can't, I can't we're not yeah. gonna talk nfl anymore and by the way, I live in the Carolinas where Scam Newton's uh, a hero down here. So F him and F everybody else too. On to Remington. Remington on Friday. <laughs> yeah. Let's huge. move. Let's let's get off the let's get off of that negativity because we had a great day at Fairgrounds on Thursday. Next yes. Remington Park Friday. Go ahead. We had a great Friday at Remington. I was astounded when I looked at this afterwards. We hit six exactas. There were thirteen races, but we hit six exactas. We did. Uh, yes. There was one race in particular that we just nailed. Uh, with dripping in and Polly Tiz hitting for us, we also had four W's. What was your race of the day there, El Hombre? Uh, the moment of the day for me was oh. race number ten. Yes. Uh, two days in a row, monster exact to pay out. We hit an eighty-two dollar and seventy cents. Again, I'm, I'm referencing a one dollar bet, eighty-two seventy on a one dollar bet. Still, uh, like you said, six out of thirteen overall. Wildly uh, positive ROI on exact the boxes. So. Loved it. Great day. Uh, Remington Park as uh, exact a box wise. Uh, that continues to be our most consistent ROI producer. Honestly, yeah. um, we had some minor hits along the way on the horizontals, but uh, nothing, you know, no game changing victories. Uh, another good day at, at Remington Park. We've only been we've only played there three times, but yeah, uh, overall, it's 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 become one of our you know one of our top roi producers in three visits by absolutely. the way i wanted to say one thing sorry to interrupt absolutely go Keeneland for it was good enough to send me this hoodie uh <laughs> it's it's good 
it's good, it's good to be uh, important in somebody's eyes. And and thank you, Keeneland. Uh, anybody anybody else who deems us necessarily uh, important enough to send us some gear, come on, baby, send 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 some uh, direct messages. Santa we'll sent me this hat, so if you're watching at home, we'll represent you on the on the uh, billions and billions of uh, you know viewers and followers that we have on uh, podcast uh, YouTube providers, whatever whatever you're doing, we got enough we got enough to go around. But thank you, Keeneland. And uh, anybody else wants to send us something, feel free. Go ahead. And, uh, and that Santa hat. Wow. Congrats. I, yeah. I tried to come up with something. I got nothing. Yeah. I mean, I had multiple options to pick from, but this was by far the best. Saturday, we were two places. Let's start with the fairgrounds. We were back at the fairgrounds of the week, of the weekend. It was our weakest slate, but it wasn't horrible. Sure. Uh, we did hit some exactas. We hit, we hit a bunch of wins. Didn't have a bunch of huge bombs. Um, our percentage wasn't the best that we had all week. Uh, what do you have for us in terms of our, our our greatest moments of fairgrounds on Saturday? Well, our biggest moment, sadly, was race uh, 10, our strong play confidence level. We had number 11, regular guy. Uh, brought home a win at 4-1 to one odds with a four, 4x four multiplier. It paid off, I don't know, a good percentage of the win bets um, overall. The win bets came up short of a good day, but I think we hit yeah. four out of 13. Um, we had 10 out of 13 exotics covered. We had a couple yeah. nice runs with exotics, including a couple uh, the early and in, in mid pick fours, but they were chalky. Uh, like you said, this was the weakest of our four yeah. uh, cards of the weekend for sure. Yeah, there was some. It sucked because Thursday was so strong at fairgrounds, and we had been so strong at fairgrounds that we, you know. Yeah. It, it, w- it was definitely the weakest of the four. Go ahead. Yeah, there are definitely some moments that we hit, obviously, right? And um, the moment I had, too, was in race seven, right? It, it's another great moment you can pick out for what we did there. We we hit a $29 exact on a $1 bet, and then our trifecta was was almost. It was like 15 cents away from 70. We hit that as well on race seven. So I thought that was our strongest play of the day. We had it marked as high risk, but again, high risk, high reward. The way we've got these bets rigged, right? So if you got the top plays, those were a bit safer. But once we get down into the the risky, the high risk, that's when we end up taking a little bit more risk because we know that these races are a little bit more volatile, and we've got it rigged to to look for those those edges where you might actually get a, a pretty hot winner. So there you have it. That's that's fairgrounds for Saturday. The yeah, it was a subpar ROI day, but again, it wasn't awful either. We we were pretty. I mean, it was kind of a blah day overall, to be honest with you. It was nothing super exciting. We didn't get killed either. Go ahead. What else did we do? We Saturday we had a we had our first time visit to Los Alamitos, which well, I know so- this is we got we got some excitement coming here for you in SoCal. SoCal right. our SoCal is God to us, by the way. Yeah. Uh, Santa Anita, Del we might, have, we might really have to move out to SoCal. I'm so. I'm leaving tonight on a plane. Tonight on a plane. It's warmer out there. Santa so, so- Anita and Del Mar and now Los Al. First visit to Los Al. How'd we do? Go ahead. We did great. We did great. So on on exactas for all of the the races that we rate on a confidence level, we were three of eight, which is great, right? You're in the forty percent tile for for exactas. We also specked out two low data races, and we hit both of those as well. So really, for the day, we were five of ten on exactas. If you cover both the low the low data races as well bada as bada boom, bada bing, oh, exactly, we were hitting it. But not only that, we were hitting some high tier ones. I think we hit three that were worth more than forty dollars on a one dollar bet. So low sell. Ridiculous, dude. I'll be honest with you. First time, I know. Cue exactly. up, Dr. Dre bouncing a six four Impala across the screen to the producer. I mean, just a joke. I mean, I mean, just a joke. I had my boy Joey Summers and my boy Frank on on chat all all afternoon. Yeah, and it was just like, is are you serious? Because it. For, we had a five out of six run that was unbelievable. Cheers to you guys. Yes. Cheers to you guys. Absolutely. Yeah, it was right. it was unbelievable. Like I mean, it was like a forty four dollar exacta, followed yeah. by a ninety dollar exacta, followed by, you know, just another forty six dollar exacta with a hundred and sixty seven, hundred sixty eight dollar trifecta. Right. It was a six race span like I've never seen. I'll be honest. I mean, followed by 50. we've all had we've all had monster exactas like we had on Thursday at Fairgrounds with the with the hundred and two thirty payout. But we just had six in a row that were like 40 bucks, 50 bucks, 100 bucks, 90 bucks, 80 bucks. I mean, it was like, it was a joke. I actually was tweeting at the time that 
how ridiculous it got. I mean, it was like, right. I couldn't even believe what was happening. Right. And, yes. and for the big race of the day, race four, the Futurity race, we hit the winner on that, which was Spielberg. We looked off of Red Flag. I mean, we had Red Flag in our, our general box, even though he missed. We pivoted off, though. I mean, the formula right. told us to pivot off, which was the right and, play. And the, the play that we put in there, because we saw... We, we saw what the field looked like. We put the great one in there who ended up leading the pack. Oh. Almost, hit, almost hit 100 plus exacta for the great, us. The great one. I great looked course. up. I looked. I looked up the will pay on that exact yeah. and almost threw yeah. up. It was 109 bucks on a $1 bet. <sighs> and uh, I believe we had a 4X exact or a 3X multiplier on that. We did. We did. We had so that, that would have, uh, I mean, and it could have gone. Wrap, it was a close one. To wrap that slate up, it was already a top five of all time exact yeah. uh, exact ROI uh, card from Los Alamitos. But if that one would have hit, and it again, would have, could have, should have, but. We'd be talking internal records, personal best, PB. For sure. And I mean, you, you bring a 25 to one home in second, like the great one was, yeah. we'll take that too. So I mean, an awesome day, awesome debut at Los Alamitos, which I yeah. think they're done now. So. Damn it! <laughs> I know it makes but, we hit it at the right time though. Um, maybe but I we mean, should maybe we should invest in some quarter horses next year. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I'm getting ready to get into that business just yet. But I, I mean, yeah, you could look at a couple of them, right? So race seven, race eight, we hit the 46, we hit the 52 in that in terms of the payouts on Exactus. Yeah, we were uh, we were really knocking them out there. Something worked for us that day, that's for sure. Top five of all time day for Exactus. So that, that tells you. And we also hit a, a couple pick threes, one hundred eighty-three dollars on one, and a, and a pick four for one eighty. I mean, just just a great day. And what a, really a great weekend. The premium weekend twenty-six is one of our best, maybe the best. Yeah. Like, all-encompassing weekend we've ever done. And, and by the way, we're at eleven minutes and fifty seconds, so the producer is just going to be <laughs> all over us on this thing. But this might be the fifteen-minute rundown. Um, yeah, I mean, we've been pivoting, we've been we've been taking notes on on all the trends, and we've been making adjustments along the way. And this felt like all the work that we put into looking for adjustments to make, and all the tweaks that we've been making paid off, all in one big weekend. So here we are, hoping that it keeps working like this going forward. Yeah. So to all the DGens, I mean, I mean, we. This is one of the days where you stop and embrace embrace the winning and, and actually just stop and think and, and just, yeah. hey, maybe we learned something, maybe we didn't, but this was one of those days that we, this is what we worked for right here, so. Absolutely. I mean, there's, there's days where we get crushed and you're wondering, you know, how, why are we doing this? We all have those days, but, but this, that Saturday, or actually this whole weekend was, this is why we do it, because we're doing well. Yeah. Uh, we yes. learned from our failures in the past, so. Yes. Bada and boom, bada bing. We're moving on and we are, we're getting better at this. So moving on, right? We're getting into the Christmas weekend. So it's a little bit busy for us here. Uh, upcoming Tuesday, we've got Remington. Wednesday, we've got Tampa Bay Downs. Saturday, we're looking at Santa Anita and Laurel Park. Uh, what else did you have on the list there, El Hombre? That's it. Uh, Tuesday, Remington. Wednesday, Tampa Bay. We're, we're looking at the best slates of the day for each day. Uh, Saturday, Malibu Stakes, San Anita for our uh, free contest. Yes. Um, we're looking at a doubleheader with Laurel Park. Yeah. Uh, what we're trying to do is is to not commit anybody to having to play on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day. I don't even know what's going on there. I don't want to work that day. You know, yeah. I want to hang out don't with family. Nice. I hope you do too. Uh, so we will do a the best we can to i know we both want to do a, a saturday doubleheader and i know golf stream has a nice slate on saturday too so i do one way or another we're we are committed to the santa anita malibu stakes day at at a uh, saturday santa anita so we'll other than that we'll 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 try to double up or we will have one on sunday that's right. where we're at yeah and by the way just a shout out merry christmas to all of our followers all the people who buy into us all the people that celebrated with us this weekend. I'm glad we could bring it right before Christmas with, with yeah, the strong awesome. space that we had. I am just extremely ecstatic to hear the the names that you rattled off there uh, in terms of the people that were, were buying into this and we're like, what the hell is going on? This is awesome, right? This this is why we do it and this is why we're trying to get better. We're putting a lot of work into this to, to make it work. So hats off to you guys. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks to everybody. Uh, everybody have a happy new year. Happy, uh, Merry Christmas, whatever, whatever, uh, you know, denomination you're going to celebrate. We're going to keep it, uh, 
as PC as possible, as I always do. Uh, shout sure. out, last last minute shout out, Floyd Wethy Jr. By the way, don't fucking ever, don't ever doubt him again. The guy, the guy cost me like a zillion dollars on uh, the Remington slate. I think it was Friday. It was a yes. pick four or something. You know, whatever. Yeah. Doesn't doesn't matter. But uh, yeah, thanks for listening in. Uh, we will check back in with you guys next week. Thanks again for all the premium members, and, and we'll talk soon. Absolutely. Have a good one, everyone. Peace.